spicy. It and is spicy. Damian Howard said earlier this week, I am a true number one cornerback. Oh, I have a so Joe, yes, yes. Do you have any issues? Keep it real, Taylor? Joe. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it a thousand around here. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Okay. I'm gonna keep it a bean to y'all. I do not think anything's wrong with what Jalen said. Okay, all right, okay. Just because he's put the work in. He's six six time Pro Bowler, three time All Pro. He's not just speaking from a place where, oh, I'm just throwing it out here. I think I'm the baddest man in the land. No, he's proved it. He's won Super Bowls in Jacksonville, strapping. Mm -hmm. Went to the Rams, won a Super Bowl, added to that team. And now he's just coming to another spot. I think people, I think it's more of shots to letting people know, I still think I'm him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might not, y'all thinking Jalen I'm moving around. They didn't keep me in, in, uh, in uh, where I was with the Rams. Rams yeah, so Rams. now like y'all thinking like I'm, I'm just movable. Right, I'm, right. I'm peace. I'm gonna make this team nice and I'm probably the baddest man. I think Xavier Howard, I think he feels a little bit. Some type of way, obviously. Yeah, you see what he's he said? Ball, he's a baller too. Yeah. But that's the thing, like I think that these dudes should at the end of the day, Jalen's not going to say that he doesn't think he's the best. He will say that when in front of anybody, because that's the way he legitimately feels. And if Xavier feels he's better than Jalen, let's just let's battle. Let's I know, see but, who but, but that, has that, the stats. Let's ask you a quick question. But does that yeah. like have a, a impact on like the, the the on the team on the defense? Like if if I think um, if we play cornerback yeah. right, and I think I'm better than you, you think you're better than me, we can compete every day hard as hell, yeah. right? Make each other better. But I don't come in the media and say that because now it's like now it's, it's something to it now. Right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, the, yeah. I'm the best really, secondary. Really you, think that, you yeah. the best. It's like yeah. now it's a thing. I mean, it, it's just going to be a thing regardless. Because both of you guys are making the premium. Both of you are, are the top. But like saying corners. it like that. Saying it, I think the one part that might be, you're the best to be in this room too. I mean, but I, I, that's kind of like a little shot. But I mean, it's Jalen. He feels the type of way. He feels like he's the best player in the league. Love, so if, how are you not going to be the best player in the league if you're not the best player in your room? So, yeah. I mean, that's what, yeah, that's true. That's what he's saying. Well, I like it because I like it. It's from the Dolphins. They're going to be good. They're going to be good. <laughs> yes, they are. Let's yeah. move on to the Big Apple. The Giants are coming off a playoff appearance, and their quarterback, Daniel Jones, was rewarded with a huge four-year, $160 million extension. Former Giants star Tiki Barber gave Jones a lot of praise, saying he has the ability to, quote, be a top-five quarterback. He can be a top-five quarterback. Now, Daniel Jones has been catching a lot of strays the past couple days on this show. So I apologize for that, but we got to keep it real. Ain't going to catch That's another stray. I, I, I didn't say this. Tiki said it. So, Shady, do you expect Daniel Jones to become a top five quarterback? <laughs> First of all, yeah, I love boxing. Yes. When the guy beats the dude up, right, and they about to, they about to go over the cards who won, and they say unanimous, one, two, three. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. Like, like. And I hate to do this because he had such a good year, and I think he's a he's a cool, solid quarterback. And I feel like the money is making us and people want to speak about him as if he is a top five, or he could be. I don't think it's his it's, it's his issue. I think it's more of I don't think he has like the the, the talent for this, right? I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't, it's like not even talent, special. When I look at all the top five quarterbacks, they are special. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're special. Yes. There's nothing about him that's special. I think he's fast for a quarterback, but I, I, there's nothing that makes him special. I think Tiki Barber, I love Tiki Barber, one of my favorite running backs, but maybe he was trying to get like, a, I don't know, like them um, alumni, like ambassador deals. Because he knows good and well that, that, that top five is, aggressive. is not a top five. Top five is aggressive. That's extreme. It's very aggressive. I, I don't even think he's a top five quarterback in the NFC Ooh. right now. And, and we, we talk, well, let, let me see, let me see. Uh, Jalen Hurts. You already know that. Like Dak Prescott. He ain't better than Dak. Kirk Cousins. He ain't better than Kirk. Kirk going down. Jared Goff. Matthew Stafford. Low key. Matthew Geno Stafford. Smith. Brody Brody Purdy. Geno Smith. I'm, yo, I'm taking. Oh, Geno did play well. But I got to see You're more. You're taking Purdy. Oh, you like Purdy? I like Purdy. You Hold like up. Purdy. I think I'm taking. Who, who the, the, uh, who'd you say? Cousins. Jalen, Dak, Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins. I'm definitely taking Derek, Jared Goff over him. Derek yes. Carr. Yes. I, that's a good Lo argument. Low-key, Kyler Murray when he's healthy. That's a good argument. Uh, Kyler, not Kyler, Kyler. I mean, but that's a good argument. That's a good argument, though. <laughs> Kyler has played better than Daniel Jones has ever played. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about special. And again, I, I don't want to... I, I agree with you. I think the money is making it... The money, make, yeah. And that's not his fault. He, does, he, mm -hmm. he got taking, paid. He played well enough Carr. to get paid. We're taking Carr over him. I'm taking Carr. But, yeah. I mean, that's the NFC. So we haven't even gotten to the AFC, where we believe all, almost all of the top talent at the quarterback oh. position, position is. So I do think that this is where we're sort of like... It's like the hype train has left, left the building, and everyone's like, all right, hold, hold on now. You had a nice season... 
But now we're getting a little out of control. Look, top five well. in the league? Really then, just a little bit. Not nothing think? crazy. I would say top, he could be top 12, 13. I think if he has a really, really good year. But I'm honestly, in my opinion, it's a 12, 13. I think that's probably the best he can go, depending on Saquon, because he's going to have to have a good running game to open up those throwing lanes, because yeah. he doesn't have the most explosive weapons on the outside. He it's not like he got point, yeah. Jamar Chase and Higgins out right. there. Like he, not, not to knock my guys, but they're not the, the best receivers in the game that he's throwing right. to. So, I mean, I think if, if Saquon does his thing, he has a chance to be around, around in, underneath the 15. And Tiki Barber smoking dope, or he just really <laughs> trying to motivate Daniel Jones? You know, we he's got legalized legalize in New York, so he might be. Uh, there's just no way you can say this and truly believe what you're saying. And I hate to do this, because I don't know Daniel Jones, but this is a topic that we're going to discuss. You got so a job gotta, to do? Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he hasn't shown he can be this. He hasn't even shown the potential right. to get into the top five. He's top 25, but not top five. And it's no disrespect to him. It's just that. You have to be able to show what you can do. And when you get drafted, everybody, whoa, they drafted Daniel Jones? What? What did they do this? What is Gettleman doing? And then when you start to play, and it reinforces what everybody thought when you were Same. drafted, yeah, yeah. and it's like, wow. But because they've signed him to this deal, I guess you expect him to be something that he isn't. He's not this, and it's okay, but Tiki Barber must just be trying to motivate him to push him. I don't know what it is, but that that's not... He don't... Tiki Barber don't believe that. He don't he, that. But he, he... Part of his quote also was, but Daniel Jones is paid to be a top five quarterback right now. He has the ability. I don't think he has the ability to be a top five quarterback in the league. But what does give me a little pause and worry about some of the hype that's going on around Daniel Jones is being paid to be something and actually being something are two different things. Totally. And we see this sometimes where you get paid and then they have these expectations so they start doing things that are uncharacteristic for you and your ability. So I'm a little nervous that they're Brian going- Brian Dable gonna change the game plan, I'm huh? nervous that, that they're book. going to play him how they pay him. And sometimes that can get to be, that can be a problem because all right, you've been paid. Now we have these expectations of you. We're gonna open up the playbook. We're gonna expect you to do things based off of what you are paid to do rather than what you actually can do. You talked about this a lot, a lot last year with the Cowboys. Yes. I look at this dude, Daniel Jones, right? Before Dayball, this is how good Dayball is. Before Dayball, from 2019 to 2021, he had 50 touchdowns, he had 49 turnovers, right? Last year, he had 22 touchdowns and he had eight turnovers. So when I look at him, it's like, even at your best, with a really, really good coach, I, was, I played for Dayball. I watched the things he did for Josh Allen. He won the best coaches in the league. He won it easily. No question. Easily, yeah. right? Yeah. His, his, his first one, his career, as far as in college, he was a winner, and NFL, he was a winner. People don't know he's with the Patriots for a long time. Long time. Okay? He was so, a receiver coach. So, tight end coach. So, when, when he got there with us, I'm like, damn, this dude's super smart. I seen the way Josh game elevated, right? So, when I watched with Daniel Jones, I was like, maybe he'd do the same thing for Daniel Jones. Yeah. And he did. But even at his best, you're talking about 22 touchdowns. That ain't even, like, what, what is that? Well, yeah, because he'll be slightly cause, better. Cause Josh Allen is different. Because he's a top five quarterback. Correct. So when he had a coach like Dave Ball, you see the difference. There you go, Shay. Yeah. He was a favorite to win the MVP type of, mm -hmm. type of thing. Where Daniel Jones is like, come on. 20 quarterbacks mm -hmm. threw more mm -hmm. touchdowns than Daniel Jones last season. 20. Davis Mills yes. threw more touchdowns than Daniel and Jones. And Davis last Mills didn't even Andy start Dalton every game. Andy Dalton threw more touchdowns than he didn't even start every game. Daniel Jones last season. Yep. Well, you listen, look, get paid in New York. This is how it goes. Well, listen, man, I still love Tiki, though. I still love Tiki. Tiki just dead love, wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.